just finished watching um, season 3 episode 1 and that was a hell of a ride already so I think it's pretty good indication for what we can expect for the rest of the season and vampires? really? like I didn't think I would get to see that like don't they have enough monsters and mythical creatures? I'm not complaining I'm happy with vampires being there, but I just find it so funny because it's such a deliberate nod to like Buffy, right? Okay, I'm just trying to think, um, okay, so is it is it just me or did they like get a bigger budget this season? It feels like it, because if this is already what it's like for episode one, then the rest of the season is going to be amazing, but I don't know, there's just a like a slightly different feel to this season, I, I think. I mean, I don't know if I'm nitpicking or something, but it feels like like it's more um, high budget somehow, like even the lighting and the music, everything about it, it just, it's, it seems to me like almost like a bit more blockbuster-ish. Am I wrong to, to think that? I don't know, that's just what I think. So we moved forward um, by some months, I don't know how many months exactly it's been since the events of the previous season, but it's obvious that it's been a little bit of time already. And Winona and Doc are still kind of dealing with the aftermath of Alice. I do wonder if we'll ever get to see her, like that would be pretty cool, I think. I would like to see Winona with a baby or with a kid, like an actual child but i guess we'll never get to see that for as long as it's unsafe for her to be there because of revenants and stuff although maybe maybe they'll bring her in or something i just think it would be hilarious can you imagine her like juggling diapers and and drinking whiskey nah she, would she i don't i don't know she, i want to say she'd be a good mom but she'd be a funny mom i think i think Doc would be a very good dad. I think he would be. I think he, like the baby, the kid would probably have him wrapped around her little finger. Like that's the feeling I get. It seems like they are still a thing. They're a thing. Okay, I'm. I am team dolls. I'm team dolls. I have a crush on both Winona and dolls, and and I love them together. I think they're just hot. Um, I liked uh, um, Doc as well. Um, I mean, I like him as a character. I don't, I don't mind him and Winona together. Um, like, I, I love them both individually together. I'm okay with it, but it's, I don't know, it's like, I keep waiting for Winona and Dolls to kind of, to kind of have a breakthrough. Like, they keep getting closer and then backing away and getting closer and back. And I'm so also confused because neither she and, and Doc or she and Dolls are any... Like, they're not official in any way. So I'm, like, a bit confused about this whole situation because she's clearly vibing with Dolls too, right? Like, they have a thing for each other as well. I think the best way to resolve this whole thing is a hot sandwich. I'm just saying. I don't think Winona would complain at all if she were in a hot sandwich of a certain cowboy and a certain agent sandwich. Anyways, way hot. Way hot are just so cute. They're so cute. They're so cute and so glamorous and beautiful and competitive girlfriends which i like obviously nicole has something from her past that we don't know about is she a cult survivor well she said she thinks she's the the cult survivor or whatever that was the massacre survivor so that'll be interesting to explore and who the hell was dragging waverly out of that car crash was it, was it those creepy men at the end of the episode, the Bolshar dudes? And Mama Earp, she's so not who, <laughs> she's so not what I was expecting at all. 
for some reason I had this like image in my head of her living somewhere in a cave and being this like um, enlightened being that they were going to approach and ask for advice and she's going to be their guide and mentor that'll make everything be better and okay instead she's in jail and has mental issues cool yep yeah, I think that's probably more in style with white Nona Earp but uh Megan follows getting to play Mama Earp that is just such a such a dream dream casting right and of green gables playing the slightly crazy convict mama erp yep that's gonna be fun i don't know what else i can i can say but this was a really good start to the season and i'm super excited for more for next week um yeah see you then